for a countdown. Hang on, let me just restart the game. <laughs> Right, can I start? Yep. Alright, timing starts now. So, hi everyone, this is Unreal Return to Napali, which is an expansion to the original Unreal. There are like three main methods of movement in this game, pretty much. One is just dodging which is what we'll be doing for like two minutes, which is this entire map, which is kind of boring. Well, I'm just already screwing stuff up. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, you gain most of your time dodging while just dodging downhills, because just keep your forwards momentum. The other stuff you do is like rocket jumps and boosts with a shock rifle that you might know it from Unreal Tournament and another thing is save a ring which you will see starting the next map you can technically do it on this map but it's not really worth it it was like slower by like 5 seconds compared to just going around walking and dodging. The thing to know with save over is just if you have an alternative like if you can rocket jump in or boost with your shock rifle it's usually faster than save overing. And since you don't have any of these weapons in this map, it's just uh, just not worth going for it. Like you can climb this cliff on the other side and end up here. It's not really worth it. Alright, already losing a bunch of time because of that. Uh, Dodging into a pit. That's pretty good. And yeah, that was the first map, which is really not interesting at all. Stuff gets more interesting here. We're gonna do an. Uh, gonna boost into that uh, wall over there. And then save over all the way up. So save hovering is uh, looks a li bit, little bit like this. You just hold the wall key, and for some reason, when you save me there, and then you load, you can walk on air, and that allows you to jump again. <coughs> this first couple of maps pretty simple. This map has a lot of waiting, we just have to wait for like, have to activate like three buttons and then wait for the sequence to take place. And that is like 30 seconds of waiting, give or take. We're gonna grab, uh, not the clip, but this flare, which we're gonna need later. Technically, we can eat. We can grab uh, flares later, but I like to pick this one as a backup. Also, I've used my carbine rifle, which I shouldn't have used, but whatever. Might slow me down uh, right after this door, not having the carbine. Because we need to break. That's great. To grab that uh, grenade launcher, 
which we're gonna use later for uh, I'm gonna use that grenade launcher later for boosting. So yeah, now we just go swimming through this thing and the next map is where the game starts getting a little bit more interesting, I suppose. So usually at the end of this map you just take a boat, but we're just gonna skip that. That's the wrong way. Usually take those boat, yeah, that boat, but we're just gonna boost to the trigger. Now, this map, we have, we have to jump out of this boat, which is a jump I really don't like. Kind of mess it up a bit more often than I should, but I'll try. Yeah, whatever. I'll just save over all the way. Ideally, you just jump out of the boat with a shock rifle, and you don't fall into the water. Like ideally, you just save over once instead of doing what I did. I just messed up that really badly. Now this map has a lot of skips, I suppose. We jump there with the shock rifle because it's faster than going around the stairs. Then we jump this wall, which we're not supposed to. Just save over, just to make sure we make it over the wall. Then you s we surf along these walls, which allows us to keep a little bit more momentum. And we skip a lot of stuff on that map by just doing that. This map we start using the grenade launcher for boosting, which we usually do in open areas. And if you're lucky, yeah, we can do a thing called money hop, which in this game is pretty precise. Which allows you to keep your forward momentum but it's it's pretty much frame perfect in this game so it's pretty inconsistent <sighs> boost over the, that wall so we can go up to the ship skipping pretty much this entire map not getting any bunny hops right now I'm gonna wait for a couple of seconds, there's a chance the game might crash in this map. Okay, it did. <laughs> nice. I have a backup safe, don't worry. Okay, let's load that safe. Yeah, this is where we end up after that tunnel. Oh, and <laughs> we have a carbine now. I didn't waste uh, my, all my ammo on this save. That's gonna come in any. Uh, this cutscene might be really loud. By some miracle, <laughs> the translight communication system on the Prometheus is still working. While I was exploring the comm center, I came across this exchange captured and recorded by the computers. New space warship UMS Bodega Bay. Prepared to take whatever steps are necessary to ensure the success of Operation Talon Hunter. Acknowledged. Uh, Bodega Bay, one more thing. Operation Talon Hunter is classified Deep Ultra. Once you've finished your mission, you must implement measures to eliminate any security risks. Please clarify, Starlight Base. Bodega Bay, make sure Prisoner 849 doesn't come back. Terminate the prisoner once the job is done. Understood, Starlight Base. We will dispose of prisoner 849 after Operation Talon Hunter is concluded. Bodega Bay, out. I've been betrayed. Why does this not surprise me? I should have known what to expect from those bastards. I guess all I can do is play out this hand. Recover the data cores, 
activate the ELT on the bridge, and then try to hijack the shuttle when they come to get me. It's a long shot, but it's all I've got. If I don't make it and someone ever recovers this log, maybe the truth will get out. All right, that's an inescapable cutscene in this game. For some reason, it's like the only one. And it's not even a cutscene, they just decided to lock your movement. <laughs> I don't know, it's weird. So we're heading now to a fighting sequence where we have to kill a bunch of guys. We're just gonna try to spawn kill them pretty much. At least this first two couple of guys and there's a third one each uh, cycle. Just need to kill them as quickly as possible and the best way to do that is with the carbine. And if we can, we gotta dodge that guy's rockets. So we're gonna need health. Health is gonna be really important in the second part of this game. That guy drops a rocket launcher, I'm not gonna pick that up. If you wanna boost, you use the other rocket launcher traditional one because this game has additional weapons to the base game so there's like a second rocket launcher but it just doesn't boost you as well as the, f as the original one which we'll get later we don't need it for now anyway this map is just like an open map and we're just gonna do a bunch of grenade boosting and Bunny hopping, if we can. This titan can be a pain in the ass if he starts throwing into... throwing it, you into the air. Can just mess up your movement, but... I guess it was kind of nice. Not getting any hops though. Yeah, it's not worth boosting anymore. We're at the end of the map. This is another pretty straightforward map. This is like the only skip. Didn't need to I didn't need to save over there, but for safety. Thing with save over it's it's just a get out of jail free card sometimes. So you might as well use it. Right, this map is just gonna run from it from start to finish pretty much. I do one jump or two, but that's about it. Try to get to high spots so we can use the momentum from dodging as much as we can. Alright. This map can give you trouble at the end. I... Oh, I have plenty of ammo. <laughs> nice. I gotta hop there. Okay, these guys at the end of the map right here, they can troll you pretty badly. So, I'm gonna be careful now. Hopefully you don't see me being trolled by them. Basically you want them to fight each other. This guy and the other one after the door. So I'm gonna shoot him so I trigger him. Maybe. And a quick save. Okay. Okay, they behaved nicely. That's pretty good. So, I throw a flare under the elevator. That makes the elevator go up immediately as it comes down. And the thing, the way those guys control is just by standing right in front of the elevator and not letting you get in. 
And that is really annoying when it happens. Not gonna pay any attention to that guy. Uh, I could boost here, but I'm not going to because we're approaching the foundry, which is probably the hardest map in the game. I'm even gonna do safety strats and pick this armor up. Okay. Ideally, you don't bump with your head on the ceiling there. So I'm just gonna save ever all the way up instead of wasting more health on that. Uh, there's like mega health here, which we're gonna take. We have a lot of health. Because we picked up that armor. I usually don't, because it's faster, but that is, if you don't pick that armor, is really tight on health this map and the next one. Oh, actually got a three hops there. That's pretty good. I'll do a couple more rocket jumps here. Save over into this platform. Should be fine. 188 health, it's a lot. I usually don't pick the timer and have like 70 around this area. Maybe even less than that. See this. the other need for the flare. You only need two flares on this entire run. One for each of these elevators you've seen. Wanna keep the ASMD out for boosts usually. Here we're gonna do this uh, ASMD boost into the, or shock rifle boost into the lava, so we trigger this pipe falling down, instead of going all the way around. Hmm, seems to be stuck. This is not good. I usually don't hug that door immediately, because it won't open, and the guy will try to block you. If I hadn't gone for that armor, I'd be dead now. Usually, health is really tight. <coughs> and this guys can be pretty bad as well if you have low health. This sometimes like their positioning is random. And they just get in your way and murder you. But it's fine. We can take a few more hits. We're approaching the end of this map. We have to press this button. And ju we're just gonna hug the hull, the wall. Otherwise, uh, an enemy might spawn. And we don't want that, because that will delay the end of the map. Okay, when that door opens... Uh, oh, he spawned. He just stuck up there. I can see him. <laughs> Interesting. Whatever. What matters is that it doesn't come down, I suppose. Alright. I'll grab some more health and armor. I'll the amount of health I had, I didn't need that, but I usually do, because when I come to this map without pick up, picking up that armor earlier, I just have really low health <coughs> around here. But it's fine, we have plenty of it. Save over here so we don't take fall damage. Okay. 
take that toxin suit so we don't take damage on the acid, even though you can kind of uh, bug the game. If you save and load while on acid, you just won't take any more damage from it. Got a rocket jump, she wasn't good enough. I think I was a rocket too short. Whatever. And we're rapidly approaching the end of the game, really. I take this health and save over all the way to the switch to open the door. Could have rocket jump with the health. Alright. We need to kill these guys so they will just follow us into the elevator and can cause us problems. Okay, I don't think he's coming now. Right, we can jump on elevators because it gives us upwards momentum as well. Uh, this is technically the final boss of this game, since we skipped the final boss. Uh, which is just a titan like the one we've seen before, and if this fight goes so well, we can lose a lot of time. If you hit for by if you get hit by one of those boulders, you can just get insta killed pretty much. Uh, he's dead. Okay. That was it. Oh, he's not dead. Okay. I thought I heard him dying, but he's dead now. Alright, you can lose a lot of time uh, in that fight, either by missing your grenades, or like this, the, the other guy is just getting in the way of your shots, or just getting uh, hit by him. But this is the second to last map. Just a bunch of rocket boosts. And try to hop along this uh, path. Then you need to go down here. That activates like the teleporter, which is the trigger to end this level. We're just gonna head there now. And then the last map is really short. We you basically do two rocket jumps to the the end game trigger and that's it. It's a pretty straightforward game. Pretty short one. So yeah, this looks Cool, if you get it right, I suppose. That was a bit too short. Uh, can do two rocks again. Yeah. And that's time. That's Unreal Return to Nap Alley. I hope you enjoyed this. So, yeah, it's a pretty short game. I, I hope I did my best to explain what was going on. It's kind of hard due to it being kind of short. But yeah. Thank you for having me.